Today on Nerd Out, Catalyst Voting Registration. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano. We break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today, we're taking a look at Catalyst voting registration. So how does it work? As you know, Catalyst is the voting system on Cardano, whereby we we take a look at the uh, reserves and we spread out that money to projects that are really cool and will help the overall Cardano ecosystem. So how does Catalyst work? Catalyst voting does not happen on the main Cardano network. It actually happens on a side chain, and that side chain uses the old ITN version of Cardano, which runs on Jormungander. Uh, why? Why do we do this? It's mostly so we don't pollute the main chain with tons of votes and other stuff that's not going to be useful uh, long after the vote happens. It's kind of a... We want to know what happens, and then we can just kind of throw away all that data after we've validated what, what actually happened. So instead, what we do is we register a voting key um, on the main chain, and we link that to our staking key. And then they take a snapshot of those registrations and how much ADA you have in that snapshot that's staked in those staking keys, and that's moved over to the side chain. And then your voting power becomes one ADA is one vote, so when you open the Catalyst app, it'll show your voting power at the top after you've entered, you know, after you've scanned your QR code and entered your PIN code to unlock the side chain. Um, so one ADA is one vote. A vote up, a thumbs up, is the same power as a vote down. So if you want to maximize the voting power for a given project, you should vote that project up and everything else down. Um, of course, you probably are going to support multiple projects. That's cool. Um, but make sure you do go in there, give every project a look, and it's it's usually best to give every project a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on how you feel about it. Uh, so then votes are recorded on the side chain, and then they are distributed back to the main chain as an instantaneous reward. So it comes in just like your staking rewards, except it's a, a special transaction that, that does that. So what does the, the voting registration transaction actually look like? Um, it's, it's a very simple dust transaction. So you're, you're sending ADA like out of your wallet and right back to your wallet. So all you're spending is a transaction fee. And it's described in SIP 15 if you want to dig deeper into it. But we're going to look at that right now. So SIP 15 says this transaction has some metadata with it. Um, and as we know, metadata is stored as CBOR on the chain. And in this case, the CBOR has a special key. It's, um, it's actually a map that's two different keys. So it, it's mapping two numbers, 61284 and 61285 are both mapped um, to some, some data. So the first thing is a voting key is created. This can be uh, whatever, the, the wallet can choose how to do that. And then you put your staking key in there as well. This is the public key, so you're, you're not um, disclosing your private staking key at all. And then a rewards address. This is where you want the rewards to come back to. Um, this is kind of nice because if you have multiple wallets, um, like I do, I'm, I'm running uh, several different pools, and so I need wallets all over the place. I can specify all of those to come back to the same rewards address. So all of those rewards get dumped into one thing, and I can see overall you know, what rewards I got for Catalyst voting. And again, it's not a lot, but it's kind of cool that you get paid to vote. Uh, the final thing that gets stored in here is in the number four, and that is just a nonce value. Usually it's a, it's a increasing and always increasing integer, most wallets will just stick the current slot number in that spot for the knots. And so this whole map gets taken and it's converted into CBOR, and that's what I've done here for you. And then they take the Blake 2B 256 hash of it. And then that hash is signed by the staking key, the, the private staking key. And what comes out of that um, there's a typo here. It should be ED25519, not ED25119. 
Um, so then comes out of that, you've got a signature, and that signature is stored along with all of this information here um, in 61285 in the metadata. And then that's the transaction that gets put on the chain. And so when they take the snapshot, they can validate that this signature is correct. They can validate that this public key uh, was signed or this signature was made from the private key that represents this public key. And so then that is what goes into the snapshot. Then that's what, so your voting key will move over. You can vote with that voting key up or down. Both are important to do. And then the rewards can be moved back after voting is done to this rewards address. And that, my friends, is how the Catalyst voting registration transaction works on Cardano. Nerd out.